rockin' with that chest, not Jeffers TV, cake ass. Now, Rich. Little Bill, showin' twins on Pirelli skills. Got your bitches dilated like the mixed fields. No time to stop, focus only on the meal. Yeah, man, so the boy wife and Lucci played out today, man. Uh, as y'all see, man, uh, y'all been hearing it going around and shit. He was going to trial. They was like in the third week of picking a jury or some shit like that. But uh, if y'all don't know, like, basically, like, when, when you get ready to go to trial, they always be trying to strike a deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, even the first day of the trial, they're going to come at you with a deal. Like, they're going to keep coming at you with deals trying to make you plead out. Cause they really don't want to go through with the trial because that shit costs a lot of money. So if they can get you to plead out right for a trial, that's what they'll do. Well, y'all check out the news clip. Lucci could be back on stage for the summer. That's after he serves time for a racketeering case in Fulton County. Challenge News' Michael Seiden is live outside the Fulton County Courthouse. And Michael YFN Lucci was facing life in prison without the possibility of parole. Yeah, Fred, you know, YFN Lucci was one of several defendants named in this RICO indictment. At one point, he was charged with felony murder, and if he had been convicted on that, he could have been sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. But this week, the start of the third week of jury selection, they found a negotiated plea. They struck a deal with prosecutors. Let me take you back. Um, YFN Lucci, again, whose real name is Rayshon Bennett, was sentenced as part of this negotiated plea to 20 years in prison with 10 years to serve for his alleged role in a 2020 deadly drive-by shooting. Now, as part of the negotiated plea, Bennett will get time, uh, credit for time served, which means in about three and a half months, he he will go before the Pardon and Parole Board. The DA's office has also agreed to send a letter that shows they are not opposed to his early release. So according to his attorneys, he could be out by the summer uh, based on that negotiated plea. Now, again, prosecutors uh, said that Bennett was behind the wheel of a Mercedes-Benz SUV that was used in a gang-related shootout that left one of his passengers dead at the end of 2020. Then, And then he was, of course, charged in that RICO case. Now, one of the trials we've been talking a lot about is YSL. That's the one involving Young Thug. And a lot of people, especially, there's been a lot of chatter that potentially YFN Lucci would be a witness in that case. Well, I spoke with his attorney, Drew Fenling, after this negotiated plea, and this is what he told me about his client appearing on the witness stand. And so many rumors on the internet that this negotiated plea that we are soon going to see him as a star witness in the YSL case. What can you tell people that are... Anybody that says that's a liar, um, we all just went to court today. Clear as day. There is no cooperation in the YSL case. He will not be testifying in that case. Anybody wants to subpoena him, will file a subpoena to quash that subpoena. He wants nothing to do with that case. He's made that clear for three and a half years. He has said he knows nothing and he will not participate in that case. Yeah, and he reiterated that to me a couple of times. Again, no matter what the state says in the YSL case, he says he will not be in that courtroom testifying. Now, I will say that before Bennett was sentenced, he did apologize uh, to the victim's friends and family as well as his uh, friends' family as well. We are going to have... Um, I want to say my heart goes out to my friend James Adams and his family. Also, I want to apologize to my family and my friends for putting them through this stressful process. And I would also like to apologize to the court. Yeah, man, so that boy YFN Lucci stays solid, man. A lot of niggas talking about, man, he gonna plead out and then he, he got him gonna testify against Young Thug. Nigga, he don't even got nothing to do with that case. That ain't his case. Him and Young Thug on two separate goddamn cases. That, that, let you go how, let, that goes to show you how much niggas know. But uh, yeah, that boy say he would not be doing no, yeah, hell no. Nah. Shit, for what? The fuck he gonna do that for? You know what I'm saying? He can get out and still be a rich nigga. Fuck, he gonna fuck his name up like that for. But then y'all see he say um that um in three and a half months he'll be able to come up to the parole board. They said they ain't they ain't gonna fight against his early release. Most of the time the parole board just ain't gonna let you pop on their first one. You know what I'm saying? Especially not when you got a twenty. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. It might be different in Georgia. But it's like down here, nigga, you got a twenty. 
uh, your first parole, you know what I'm saying? You body ain't gonna make that hoe. I got a little homie in Giselle right now, um, doing eight, but his shit ag though, but shit, they denied his ass, you know what I'm saying? Shit, they'll deny your ass, set your ass back for a year, you know what I'm saying? He gotta come up next year. So we'll see though, but I don't think he gonna do too much time though. He might wind up doing about four, five, six years or something on that hoe. But shit, that's cool though. I mean, you gotta, I mean, of course a nigga locked up, but you gotta look at the circumstances, man. Like, shit. Man, they trying to hit that boy with a life sentence, all type of murder, all type of shit. Sometimes you just can't win, you just gotta, you just gotta negotiate, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta take what you can get, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. I mean, it's that shit, it, it'll go by pretty quick, then he get out. Shit, he can get right back on the money, you know what I'm saying? Then he ain't gonna be that old, he, he a young nigga, he in his 20s, you know what I'm saying? So shit, he can get out of his 30s somewhere. He he good, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, shout out to YFN and Lucci, man, keeping it solid, man. Fuck that, man. You, you don't know nothing about that case, man. You know what I'm talking about? Don't even come my way with that shit, man. I don't f- fuck that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but uh, we gonna see, man. But y'all come in, man. Y'all think that boy did the right thing by taking the time? Or shit, he had went on and went through with the trial. You know what I'm saying? But that trial, man, that's janky. You can win, but you can lose, too. <laughs> and if you lose, they gonna give you the maximum at that hoe because you went to trial, you know what I'm saying? They don't like that shit. Nigga, you gonna buck the system, take it all the way to trial, then get guilty? Oh, we gonna, we gonna give you the maximum. Yeah, yeah, that's how they do it, man. But y'all let me know, man. Uh, y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel, man. OGBC, Chestnut Chuggers, move slow, think fast for sure.